Hello, Internet. Jesus loves you. My name is Cody, and this is the Christian News Show. We do on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with geeksundergrace.com. And we're going to start the day talking about basketball, something that I almost never watch. But LeBron lost, and everybody is talking about it. And because it's everywhere, Stephen Curry from the Warriors has popped up in the news as well. Stephen Curry being called one of the best shooters in the game, but not only known for his basketball skills, but he's also an outspoken Christian, saying things like, obviously, there's a lot of hoopla, and fanfare that follows you wherever you go, but I know where my talent comes from. I know why I play the game, and it's not to score 30 points a night, but it's to use the stage I'm on. I've been put there for a specific purpose, to be a witness and to share my testimony as I go through it. And so I think it's always awesome for us to see people with influence actually talking about Christ. I mean, really, it is their voices that people listen to. Also, since we're talking about kind of celebrities, I did want to welcome Mark Hall back. A while back, we talked about him. He's a singer from Casting Crowns, but he had to take a leave of absence to battle and beat cancer. He is now performing once again. Very good news to hear. And from that, our next story brings us to Ohio because grocery stores there were selling this beer named Sweet Baby Jesus. I thought it was funny that in the article it says, it was unclear whether or not people are complaining because it's associating Jesus with beer, or it's because this beer is promoting Christianity, which is probably not the case, but I really hope it is. So I don't get offended by these kind of things, but I totally understand in this situation why some people are. I mean, you are literally taking the most supreme being in the entire universe and naming a beer after it. I've got nothing against drinking. My friends know this, but Jesus and beer are not synonymous in any way. Unless it's like a wine-flavored beer, because then you would have bread and wine communion. But anyways, and our final story of the day, I know we just talked about China a couple days ago, but I found this really interesting. It's not something that I really realized. We talked in the past about how China's regulations on Christianity has kind of just destroyed churches some more literal than others. Well, it turns out that one of the biggest churches in China is actually the Underground House Church, which is not a church sanctioned by the Chinese government. And the reason for this is because the church is so big that it wouldn't even be possible for them to be doing what they're doing under those regulations. And so some of the stuff I didn't realize, like pastors have to stay within a jurisdiction, so they can't go and preach from location to location. Also, baptisms are regulated, so if half your church wanted to be baptized, you would have to go through a ton of paperwork, and you still may not get that many people to be baptized. On a bunch of other stuff, like all training for leaders has to go through the government. I mean, it's literally just not practical for an actual church to sustain itself. So all of that is to kind of catch you up on what's going on. The Chinese Chinese president, though, has personally written a letter to this church, basically inviting the church leaders to talk to top government officials about what they can do to kind of meet in the middle and come to an agreement. Now, this could go really well or it could go really terribly, but from an outside point of view, it looks like China is actually trying. I think there are definitely different layers of this. I think you have people who definitely do not want Christianity in China. And there are others that are okay with it and want to be progressive. It's all kind of interesting to me because this is a very persecuted country, yet it is the fastest growing as far as Christians go. Anyways, that's where we end today's show. Make sure you have your prayers out for China. Question of the day, beer named after Jesus. Offensive or not? I want to know what you guys have to say. So please leave a comment on that or anything that I talked about today because it's kind of a sillier question. We talked about some other stuff that's pretty serious, so in the comment section below. As always, make sure you check out geeksundergrace.com. My name's Cody Arbor, bringing Christian news in a not so boring kind of way every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In closing, let the haters say it, let the Christians pray. And to everybody like, subscribe. I will see you later, and God bless.